banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. It says Nintendo. I'm just wondering. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Time Lord. Troll. This book lacks Truxton. It's the review of the ultimate NES guide to the NES library. From 1985 to 1995 by Pat Country, but it lacks Truxton. Therefore, it lacks blast processing, but it does have a whole lot of great Nintendo information, so let's check it out. It's a good book. Did you know that Sega Genesis fanboy Mark owned an NES before my Sega Genesis? It's true. Many of my favorite games are on the Nintendo Entertainment System, like Contra, Bionic Commando, Blaster Master, Top Gun, and Life Force. Countless hours were spent rocking the NES on my parents' old CRT in the basement with my NES Advantage. And Pat, this book arrived about 30 years too late. You know, we really could have used this before the internet. This is like the Sears catalog, without the girls in underwear, so therefore not quite as good as the Sears catalog, but it does have more information specifically about Nintendo games. And you gotta admire Pat Country, who wrote this and contacted me about reviewing it knowing he was venturing into Sega and Atari territory. But I promised him it would get a good review, so long as Bionic Commando gets five stars. Bionic Commando is the best NES game, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, f what no! the? Four hundred and thirty-seven pages and no Truxton. It's a shame. But understandable, seeing as how Truxton was never released on the NES, however, a whole lot of other games were. And this monstrous hardcover book has reviews of more than 800 of them. Including Airwolf for the NES, which surely gets a good review because it's Airwolf, right? Oh, come on, Pat! What's it take to please this guy? Reviews may be a dime a dozen on the internet, in fact, most of them are free on the internet, but there's something to be said for having a book like this. Packed with information and pictures, when you flip through the pages, you never know what you might stumble upon next. How did Zelda get more stars than Bionic Commando? I may question Pat's logic, but I don't question his dedication to the Nintendo Entertainment System. I actually really enjoyed just pulling games off the shelf and seeing his opinion of them, but really this book's best feature is the depth of information. It's like everything you ever wanted to know about the NES, but we're afraid to ask. The layout is nice considering how much information is contained within these pages, it doesn't seem cluttered. In addition to reviews, there's also some articles on accessories and variants and all kinds of other stuff. Everything about the NES is here. Everything except Rickrolled, it would seem. How did you forget Rickrolled? There's nothing like being Rickrolled on the NES. Anyway, as you can see, this makes a nice resource, but also it's just fun to own if you love the NES. And Pat says this took him over two years to produce. The Ultimate NES Guide makes a great gift, and it's also heavy enough to flatten things or use as a weapon. And while it lacks Truxton, it does have the Nintendo World Championships 1990. I have like three copies of that game and lost them all, it's overrated. But the NES Zapper certainly isn't. You can pick up the physical or digital versions of this book at ultimatenes.com. It's also for sale on amazon.com. I highly recommend it, not just because it has a lot of NES games, but also because it has cheerleaders in front of arcade games. That rocks. 
Maybe I'll use it to figure out which NES game to review next. Bible Buffet? How does that not get five stars? It's the ultimate Nintendo guide to the NES library. What it lacks in Truxton, it makes up for with Bible Buffet. This review has been brought to you by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. Alright, if you're gonna buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Welcome to the club, it's the Lord Carnage Club, where I thank these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano from Within the Zone of Danger! Jeff Breyer. Jeff Breyer! Derek Langley. Derek Langley. Michael and Ariana Nelson. Michael and Ariana Nelson. Michael Fernandez. Those not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Stephen Chucknick. Stephen Chucknick. Al Stiver. Al Stiver. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. <laughs> Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Bell. Busy Signal. Still busy. Sean Zoltek. Sean Zoltek. Philip Straubenmuller. Phil does the dance of safety in the zone of danger. Jack Stavris. Jack Stavris. Oh, hot cunning. <laughs>